What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I have took the plunge. Yeah. This is the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Yeah, kind of a big deal. Uh, I've been doing a whole lot of research on this projector and uh, couldn't find much information. I've seen reviews from people who are projecting it on curtains. Some people behind walls with doors. Some people on wallpaper. And I got sick and tired of these horrible reviews. Now I had a handful of good ones, probably two, maybe three tops. But everything else was total trash and was done in a very ghetto, hobo kind of way. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review for this. This is not a paid sponsorship, everybody. No one's giving me a dollar for this. I just wanna let you guys know if you guys should buy it or not. The whole entire setup process, what type of screen you wanna use with this, the environments, how it actually functions, and basically how to get it to transfer over to English and the power options, because I know you are wondering if you're in the United States, how can you use this 220 uh, volt uh, power? So yeah. Go ahead and go through the whole entire review right now. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. So here we go. This is the unboxing of the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. So as soon as you crack it open, after spending your two thousand dollars, this is what you're gonna get. Okay, you're gonna get a little tiny card on the inside, and this little card uh, doesn't seem like much on the surface. I believe this one is only gonna have the uh, instruction booklet. Uh, not much information there. Uh, most of it you're not going to be able to understand because it's actually oh, okay. in Chinese. And unless you speak Time Chinese, you're pretty much out of luck. So, yeah, you can look at the pretty pictures. Uh, it does come with a cool little uh, screen cleaning material right here. Uh, this is fantastic. I do recommend cleaning this. I have actually wiped the dust off my screen uh, or across my laser a couple of times. Uh, inside of here, you'll basically see random bits of nothing and pictures. And basically, if you have uh, half a brain and an HDMI background, a uh, HDMIologist, you can hook this thing up. So this is the actual unit itself. It comes pretty darn well wrapped. Okay, last time I checked, look at that. The wrapping looks great. Uh, let's see, what is this? Is this the controller? The controller is very sleek, very stylish. This is among the stylish uh, ones I've ever seen. Okay, I've seen some really cool projectors. I even had some really cool ones, but this one is very sleek and very stylish. I got to give them credit for that. Uh, this is, of course, the power cable, the 220, the one that scares you to death, the one that makes you go, ah, I can't use it. I can't use it. it, it, it it's another power outlet. I'm not even in this power outlet country. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Now, there's more than just the simple on the surface background that goes behind this. So, I'll show you guys more about that in a minute. Now, this unit is heavy. This is a heavy little machine. Once outside of the box, uh, you can basically see the back. Uh, you get three HDMIs, USB 3.0. Uh, you pretty much name it. Uh, this is the power connector I'm going to be using to connect the power to the thing. Now, this thing is going to fail. It's not going to work. I'm going to tell you right now. This thing right here I hold in my hand is not going to work. I know because as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh, it's totally going to work. It's totally going to work. I'm going to use this thing that I bought from $10 from Amazon and it's totally going to work, right? It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. It can set 110 and 220. That's a lie. Some of them can't. So it's not going to work right off the bat. So I'm going to show you guys this epic failure as I get ready to use it right now. Okay, moment of truth to see if this thing actually works. I have it plugged in. Don't worry, this is not where my setup is going to be. And for those of you who are worried that I'm going to do a ghetto review by not having a screen, you are lying to yourself because I'm about to put up the screen, but I want to see if it actually turns on and I have to return it to the person I bought it, to the company I bought it from. So this is a test to see if it will actually turn on. Lord willing, it turns on. No, Chris, it's not going to work. No matter what you try, it's not going to work. Because even if you switch out the cable with the three prong that fits in the back, it's still not going to work. I know, I tried it. It's not going to work. No matter what you do, it's not gonna work without you actually changing it to 220, contrary to popular belief. Maybe for some people, but not this guy. Are, are, you, are, you, are you turning on? Hello? Hello? It's me. I was wondering if you would do Xiao Mei things for me. No? Huh. Okay. Maybe I didn't press the fuse enough. Ah! No! Ah! 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 Now 
Now this is the part where I actually came to my senses and realized that it's not going to work. I need to actually convert the power to 220 from 110 to 220. So I had to use an up converter. I had to change the power up from 110 to 220. I needed to double it. So once I figured that out, now the review starts to go a lot more smoothly. Okay, so I basically built a home entertainment center from scratch. Now I have bad jobs with a built-in uh, in-wall speaker. Uh, basically, this is the way I uh, wanted to have the screen set up. So this screen is actually going to be bigger, so I'm going to move these speakers out of the way. But I wanted to make sure I had enough room between the floor because this one projects really low that I have enough room between there and the ceiling to be able to have the, the picture or whatever. So yeah, it's gonna work out quite nicely. Uh, basically, if you wanna have one of these, if you have like a silly fan situation or something like that, like you don't wanna mount a TV over here or whatever, you, you basically wanna have something like this so that you'll be able to uh, project and not have to worry about mounting something to the ceiling and running wires all the way down. I don't really want any speakers up here to the ceiling and you know, that's gonna work out, but uh, speakers to the ceiling, these are gonna be my uh, 7.1 speakers. They're gonna actually go above the uh, projector screen. And then I'm gonna have these speakers on the side and my center speaker down here. So those are the ones that's gonna go into the ceiling. So yeah, I still got a lot of cable to run, but basically I wanted to show everybody that this is where the setup is going to be. The problem I was having is that I could not run this system because every time I tried to press the power button, <laughs> nothing happened. Uh, no, no. That would get no signal just where I covered this up while I was waiting. There's nothing happening. So our batteries, everything. I'm using a little converter thing, but that didn't work. So I had to go get that new power item over here. Sorry for the boxes, everybody totally moving in. Rocking chairs, got all this stuff. It's gonna be broken parts down. And, boxes everywhere so yeah this one is the one I ended up using so this is what's known as an up converter okay now this one was about $23 on Amazon and this is just a simple up converter uh, it's basically going to allow me to change 110 to 220 uh, I'm gonna plug the original outlet into this one and then once I plug it in all I have to do is switch it over from 110 to 220 and it will boost the power up so that this device will actually work this was only 20 bucks and it's totally worth it you're gonna need this so glory to God it has started of course it is not straight I have to twist it a little bit to get it to go straight but yeah, it turns on. Hey, I am so happy right now. Glory to God. I thought I was about to return it. I was about to flip out. You don't even know. Okay, time for some reviews. Just figured I'd fill you guys in on this. If you are attempting to buy this Xiaomi projector and you have every intention to get a screen later on, you can try and project it on the wall. But if you think that you're going to buy this and just project it on the wall and that's it, I will tell you that this uh, ultra short throw projector or mini ultra short throw projectors right off the gate. They are designed to be used with tab tension fixed screens. Do not try and get a floppy screen that pulls down from the ceiling. It will show every single flaw. It is designed to be on an ultra flat surface. If you also try and project it on the wall, you'll look in the upper right corner, you'll see a bend right there. That's where the drywall bends because no wall is 100% straight, contrary to popular belief. Now, I do have some construction experience. I will tell you guys that no wall is perfectly straight. The wood curves, it bends, it has crowns in it. That's how you get that waffling effect. It's not because the projector is projecting wrong. It's because you're projecting on a surface that it should not be projecting on. It will highlight every single flaw you have on that wall. I wanted to tell you guys this in advance. So once you get the screen set up just the way you want to get the screen hung, you have the ability to use this trapanzee effect, which basically allows you to line it up with the top of the projector screen that you have. Uh, now you have the option of using a four point and an eight point correction. If you select the eight point correction, it's going to give you even more options. So if your screen has a little bow in it or a dip in it, you can adjust it from there. But me personally, I'd rather use a four point pretty much because my stuff is relatively straight so once you start going from each corner you basically back each side up until you get it lined up with your screen it's fairly simple here now this is the option where you're gonna this is the point where you are gonna have to choose what you want to do now this is a screen that I got which is basically a silver ticket screen you can get an elite screen it really doesn't matter they both are basically gonna do the same thing uh, silver tickets a little bit easier to set up however 
if you want to have the best screening experience, you can shell out the 500 to say seven, $800 for the, uh, was it, uh, Elite Screens Aeon. Now that allows you to buy a uh, borderless screen. That's probably the best one you can use from this one. But if you actually look at the screen at the very, very bottom, you're gonna see a tiny gap there. Uh, that tiny gap with about an eighth of an inch, uh, that can cause you some drama if you are just like, want it to be perfect. But yeah, you also have the ability to use the screen focusing uh, ability right here. You basically just select it on each side until you get all the corners to get perfectly clear. And then once you get it 100% set up, you are ready to go. So very easy to set up. It does have auto focusing so that's really awesome so here's where things get a little bit more serious okay before I picked the screen I picked uh, in a previous clip I had to decide which screen I wanted now what the screens that I picked was a uh, was a basic center white screen and then the other one was a uh, gray screen now here's the problem you cannot use a ambient light rejecting screen with this projector because they are so close they will absorb all the light and depending on what angle it will hit you will have no light at all this one that I have here on the left this one is the gray screen I have the white screen sitting right next to it you can see that the gray screen is designed for uh, certain situations where you can't control all the light but look how it's absorbing the light from all the pictures even this one by itself is pulling all the light in. I'll show you in another video here. It's the same thing. It's pulling all the light out of the picture. Look at the one over there on the left. It was just so badly done. It pulls all the light. Everything that bounces off the stars, everything that you could have in a picture that makes it so beautiful and vibrant disappears because this one is just a gray screen. So do not get a ambient light rejecting screen don't get a gray one with this projector it already has so many lumens that it will overpower most uh, light situations but look at that this is in a night room this is a dark room at night and it's pulling all the light from all the pictures everything that gives it soul is gone you can see it right here i wanted you guys to see this in case you were deciding on getting a gray screen an ambient light rejecting screen just get a center white screen you'll be just fine with that i'm going to show you a picture of it in the daytime so this is under total ambient light conditions. I'm talking about every single blind open here. Uh, you have a window, window here. Uh, you have windows open back here. You have windows back here, back there, everywhere. And you can still somewhat see the screen. So that really says something about the lumens, about how bright they are. Now most people won't have every single window, every single thing under the Tuscan sun open. But at the same time, I mean, come on, that's a whole lot of light that's directly on it and if you close just one blind like the one that I had the very first one if you close that blind right there yeah that one is gonna look way better but I wanted to show you guys with as much light as I could pour into this room that you can still somewhat see the picture very clearly I mean it still overpowers that so that just is a testament to how bright this projector actually is in real life you can still see that picture really good but at nighttime, that's when this thing really shines. The colors are vibrant. Everything looks sharp and crisp. I mean, you gotta give them credit. This thing is sharp. It's low to the ground, but man, look at the impact this thing makes. I mean, I'm running, you know, lights all over the place. It's got a light over the ceiling and, and it's not having any effect on it at all. I mean, if you look at it, that is phenomenal. That's the kind of color clarity that you're actually looking for. You're looking for something that can do that, where you can walk in front of it and, not, and use this thing as basically a TV. I mean, it is sharp. Uh, haven't noticed any crazy input lag. I wouldn't use it for competitive gaming, but outside of that, this thing runs smoothly. I mean, the colors look great. I mean, you can't ask for more. I mean, this is a really cool device. That's why I wanted to make this video to show you guys like, hey, this is a really good product and actually show it doing something, you know, instead of just showing it doing some generic garbage. I mean, that's this thing running with 4K content through the pass through. So I just wanted you guys to go ahead and check this out. Of course, this is the startup. Just letting everybody kind of check out the startup process. It does the same thing every time. Now you do have the option of changing it over to English. Uh, mostly I went to a YouTube video. Uh, they gave me a link to uh, a Google Drive and they allowed me to put it on a thumbstick and then move everything over to try to change it over to English. This is how the UI actually looks. Most of it's Chinese, you're not gonna say any of it. You have access to none of these cool things, although I would like to know what this movie is. 
I don't know what these things are, but yeah. So from here, you can uh, just go directly to whatever source you have. Like, if you want to play a, a, a certain movie, you can set it to turn on with a Roku box or, or anything like that. So that makes everything very simple. Uh, it does have three HDMI ports. Uh, you can create your own user center when you go to things like My Apps. Uh, this is the one that I believe comes originally with it. This is the original settings. So once you switch over, sorry, get that focused you add in your own little settings sprocket and that will actually give you more information on how to set everything up yourself a whole lot easier date and time you know things like that that you'll probably not be using that often uh once you go back here to the main screen uh user center is not going to have much information in there for a cloud server uh you can connect it online me personally i don't use most of these features now you do have the ability to you know access uh screencast and you can hold the menu button and that's how you access the transparency effect in the uh the screen um let me say uh Oh, doggone the screen focus, but it does have an autofocus feature on it. Uh, you can go ahead and create uh, multiple uh, uh, settings for whatever HDMI you actually use. That's where you can go into your displays, create picture profiles, light modes, uh, aspect ratios. That's where you basically can play with these things and uh, playback setting, uh, settings and uh, 2.0. So it's it's a fairly simple process. Most of the time, you're not going to be using most of this stuff, but I mean, the UI is very snappy and very clean. Uh, one of the questions that you're probably going to have about this is, does it have an arc? Yes, it does have an audio return channel. I believe that is in HDMI 3, I believe. So HDMI 3 should be auto return channel. Uh, could be one, but I'm pretty sure it's HDMI 3 from the last time I checked. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi things like that you can add in a lot of apps like a uh, YouTube and stuff like that But better you're better off adding in like a Roku or something like that for 30 bucks and the entering all that information on here and not really have access to Understand 90% of it. So for the most part most of your settings are going to be in English and that's going to help you out uh, In the long run instead of stressing out just get a Roku stick or something like that or use it with basic cable or YouTube TV So I did want you guys to see what the UI looked like so after tons of hard work and getting everything done from running lines for overhead speakers and you name it, I uh, finally got my whole entire little movie area done with the little snack station and uh, finally got the speaker set up just the way I wanted. Again, this is in uh, broad daylight. Uh, still trying to show how it looks like in uh, ambient light situations. Still looks very good. Uh, most of the time, I just close that one blind and it looks 100% awesome. And you still have a very well lit area. Uh, everything in here came out just the way I wanted uh, from building that and setting up the stands. And I can close this blind and right now and just show you guys right now just how much better it looks like it just it, it looks really awesome uh, again the camera really can't do it justice I could shut down the other one but there's no real point in doing that but for the most part uh, the theater came out just the way I pictured it okay yeah, I'm very pleased with it I have no complaints nothing but good things to say about the way this whole entire process ended and yes I could have removed that tiny little white bin but no I had to have diapers for my daughter so hashtag deal with it that's where it's gonna be it's where it's gonna be right now so yes this is a really awesome uh, projector came out uh, looking really sharp and so uh, very happy and very pleased with it so that is it that is my review of the Xiaomi ultra short throw projector it is worth it it's spooky I know I was terrified to spend that much money and wonder if it's even gonna show up uh, I did use PayPal to make sure that it showed up uh, extra quick and it was gonna be safe some people want to use gears best and all these other people I went straight to eBay got it for 17 and was able to move it uh, here relatively quickly with expedited shipping and uh, at the same time I had a guarantee from PayPal if it did not show up I was gonna get my money back just saying just saying ebay was a whole lot easier for myself and i do recommend ebay for you guys now remember you have to get the up converter some people were lucky enough there was just a work as soon as they plugged it in with the little cheap walmart thing and it worked out for them it did not work out for me so it might not work out for you and i'd rather have you go ahead and buy that thing for 20 bucks in advance than try and waste your time trying to get the cheap one for uh for 10 bucks and it doesn't work and you're sitting there on movie night with popcorn and over red and bacher is like man let's do this let's do this and you're not gonna get any kind of movie action because that's how i felt and i was like but but 
but but we're gonna to watch something. No, nothing happened. I was very disappointed that whole entire evening, and I felt like I was going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. And I would rather have that not happen to you guys. Remember, uh, go with a center white screen. Do not try and go with a gray ambient light rejecting screen. Don't do it to yourself. Uh, remember, center white screen and uh, pretty much a up converter, and you're pretty much good to go. And you can walk in front of it. It is a fantastic device, and I do recommend it. So yes, I did want to let you guys know, and this is my official review of the. Xiaomi Ultra Pro Laser Projector. Yeah, try and say that three times fast. Xiaomi Ultra Pro Laser Projector. Xiaomi Ultra Pro Laser Projector. Xiaomi Ultra Pro Laser Projector. Yeah, that just happened. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holla at y'all later.